What's going on everybody? This your boy Isaiah coming to you again from Buckos Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share on all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification button on this channel to notify you on all new videos that I post on this channel. Yes, I know folks, I'm a little late with the, with the, with the Bucks game coming up this Sunday, but better late than never. So, uh, the Bucks have the Arizona Cardinals. Well, actually, the Bucks are going on the road to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Um, and this is a good. This is a, we, this is a weird game for us um, because it's interesting because this is the same Arizona team that waxed us last year around this time. I think it was like it was a blowout, like forty something to fourteen or something like that. James had a bad game, and and I'm pretty sure James has been oozing and thinking about this game when he saw it on the schedule and he marked it. I know he did. So, you know, um, I'm expecting Jameis Winston to come out like he did in the fourth quarter against the Patriots. Uh, Arizona right now is kind of a, a little of a mess right now because they don't have David Johnson. He broke his wrist on um, one of the top backs in the NFL, young backs in the NFL. He broke his wrist and the Cardinals don't have a running game. So, you know, but I'll get to that part in a second on the defensive side. But offensively, the Cardinals, they got a good secondary, but they've been playing pretty bad. But our offense should be able to move the ball. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying this all year long. Offensively, we can move the ball on anybody. I, the problem is, is the dirt cutter inconsistent play calling. He needs to call a better game. Jameis Winston, and he is who he is. He's going to be accurate. He's going to be inaccurate. He's going to make some boneheaded decisions. But that dude, man, I'm, I'm watching all these other quarterbacks, man. You know, Dak and Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. You know, even Mariota. Like, all these guys is chucking the ball around. And it seems like Dirk Cutter just don't want Winston to do that. You know, and I get it. He's a turnover machine. But you got to let Winston, Winston evolve. And, and I'm going to keep saying this, folks. Just keep an eye out on Dirk Cutter and his in-game decisions. And it's play calling. You know, um, we should be able to run the ball in Arizona. I know they got a good front seven. Um, but they just all over the place right now. You know, Car you know, they just Bruce Arians, he's they just they a little kind of messy right now at Arizona. We should be able to go in there and win that game. But we'll see how that works. Uh offensive line our offensive line has been playing pretty good on the last couple of games. Um uh, Doug Martin, this is his second game back. I'm expecting him to get between eighty and 100, 100 yards. Uh, Mike Evans, uh, he will be matched up against Patrick Peterson. Hopefully, they move Evans around. And, of course, Deshaun Jackson. Hopefully, Jameis and Deshaun can hook up in this game because we're going to need that. Um, one or two of those balls. Uh, Cameron Bray, O.J. Howard. I'm expecting them to use. See, look at all these weapons I'm naming. Look at all these weapons I'm naming. Cameron Bray, O.J. Howard. Doug Martin, Mike Evans, Deshaun Jackson. Even Charles Sims is a weapon. <laughs> and I... Let's be honest, folks. He's a weapon, even though he tap dances, but he's a weapon, too. And this, this is all on dirt. I'm sorry. This is all on dirt. Um, defensively, um, the Cardinals did sign Adrian Peterson, so they tagged him to start. They cut Chris Johnson, so they tagged, uh, they traded for Adrian Peterson from the Saints. And I don't know what the Saints was doing when they signed him in the first place, but that's typical Saints, uh, wasting money on people. But anyway... Uh, so the Cardinals signed or traded for uh, Adrian Peterson. Uh, he's starting this Sunday, so I'm I'm expecting the Arizona Cardinals to pretty much turn around, turn around and hand the ball off to him. Uh, uh, Carson Palmer is a turnover machine. He's uh, he's a stone-footed quarterback now. He's 37, 30 years old. He can't get away from sacks, um, so we should be able to sack him a couple times. Arizona offensively, they're pretty much a, a, a they kind of like us. Um, they take deep shots down the field. They they make they take those ten to fifteen twenty yard thirty yard uh, throws because Carson Palmer and his big arm, um, and we pretty much play the same way. Um, so they're gonna run Adrian Peterson between twenty and thirty times this game to to take the pressure off of Carson Palmer because, like I said, he's a turnover machine. He's kind of like washed up. Um, the Cardinals should have drafted the quarterback, but that's not my team. That's that's on the Cardinals fan base. But uh, we should be able to pressure Carson Palmer when he throws. I, I watched him the last couple weeks. I kept my eye on him because I knew we was going to play them. And he doesn't look good. He looks washed up. He looks washed. Um, 
Offensively, Arizona doesn't have like a big play receiver. I mean, you got Larry Fitzgerald. Um, you know, they got John Brown. But they don't have like no Mike Evans and no Julio Jones type guy. Even though um, Larry Fitzgerald is still balling out. And they're going to line him up in the slot. So Robert McClain, Larry Fitzgerald matchup will be a very important matchup. Um, Vernon Hargraves and John Brown, that's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, Brent Brown's going to be just fine. Hopefully we get back Levante and um, uh, Quan this game and TJ Ward. So that'll, that'll – I, I really want to see the defense – fully healthy or all our starters out there. I want to see TJ Ward and Justin Evans back there playing strong and free, free safety, excuse me. I want to see all three of our linebackers, um, Kendall, Levante, and Quan on the field consistently. And I want to see some 3-4 pass rushing downs with Kendall Beckwith and Noah Spence lining up at the outside linebackers with uh, Levante and Quan in the middle. Running that 3-4 with Jerome McCoy at the 5 technique. I seen that it actually works because Kendall Beckwith can rush the passer. Um, I saw that in preseason. Uh, so that can't work. Uh, overall, I, I think we're going to win the game. I, I'm just not sold on Arizona. Uh, they got issues. Um, Patrick Peterson, you saw him on the sideline last week. He was complaining to the coaches about it because they got their tails whooped. Um, so I'm expecting the defense to get some turnovers and a couple sacks. Hopefully they, they they turned the corner, you know, with two turnovers last week and some sacks last week on Tom Brady. Now we got another quarterback that can't move. We should be able to sack him between three and five times. So this is on Mike Smith and this is on Dirt Cut. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm watching you, Vernon Hargraves. I'm watching you, Chris Conte. Okay, and James. I'm watching you too, and Deshaun. Okay, it's easy. We should win this game. We should be able to go three and two, going into week six. Three and well, week seven, three and two. But anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about the Arizona Cardinals versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. This is your boy Isaiah coming to you from Buckles Locker. Subscribe to the channel, share all my videos, fire those cannons, seize the day. I'm out.